Hurricane, not a major hurricane any longer. Category two winds are sustained at 105, but notice the structure of the storm. It's almost becoming a little bit more elongated. We're getting the convection right around the center, certainly not as intense as it had been, but also notice that these storms are kind of spreading out and the wind field is starting to get a little bit larger too. We will over the next couple of days gradually see this storm continue to weaken and eventually transition into a post tropical storm. Now the good news for Bermuda, while they're going to get some strong winds to surf the rainfall is that the 60 plus mile an hour winds are going to stay offshore and certainly not going to experience the hurricane force winds. Those will be near the center, which thankfully will stay farther offshore. Now where we could see the 60 plus mile an hour winds is as the storms move north, as the storm moves northward from Bangor, Maine, all the way to Halifax, Nova Scotia and up into New Brunswick, they could see sustained winds of over 60 miles an hour as the storm at this point starts to transition to more of a nor'easter with the exception of no snowfall or colder air. But the system will be transitioning, but still pack quite a punch. And even all along the eastern seaboard, we're expecting a higher surf and the riptide issue. What we're also going to be watching in the next several days is Invest 97. It is likely to become our next name storm. We already have Margo in the central Atlantic. This one would become Nigel. Decent agreement in the models. And what's also interesting is if you're with us in our earlier newscast, the earlier model runs had the storm kind of moving toward Bermuda. Now the models are turning it away, which would be great news. If we can keep another system out in the central Atlantic, not affecting anyone, that would be great.